गुड इवनिंग मैम गुड इवनिंग विच इज सेंड मी पी डी एफ यस मैम वन सेकेंड आई सेंड इट टू यू ओके Okay, should we start, Mokshita? Yeah, ma'am. Okay, we will discuss about the mean, uh, median. 
and frequency uh, frequency polygon in this chapter that is that actually should i i have to tell you something ma'am only mean median are there ma'am in this chapter and step division method assumed mean method that all are not there ma'am only mean and medium formulas and very basic questions are there ma'am and uh, frequency polygons some questions are there ma'am that's it ma'am frequency polygons uh, has removed no ma'am frequency polygon is there ma'am but uh, uh, other thing only mean median and fre frequency polygon is there ma'am that's it otherwise other methods like uh, assumed mean method and step division method that is not there ma'am and direct method like that it's not there ma'am okay so firstly we we'll, uh, we should discuss, start with mean uh, what's the uh, the word mean the word mean which is also known as arithmetic mean which means uh, simply calculation or the average of numbers this is called average of numbers average of number is considered as mean or arithmetic mean or simply the mean of these numbers in the statistics statistics okay in the statistics statistics is what uh, statistics is that branch of maths that deal about that data it deals about the calculation of data of different groups that uh, groups are to uh, group data ungrouped data a uh, group data uh, data is the data that is uh, specifically given for the and ungrouped data is the data which, uh, which is not specifically given okay yeah. so firstly uh, what's the mean mean is the average of number and how there are many method to find the mean direct method step deviation method and assume mean method but firstly the simply method uh, uh, by that we can find the mean is so there are many formulas as i as i told you to find the mean so simply formula the mean say sum of observation okay and that is divided by number of observation yes ma'am so uh, if i say uh, there is a given 7 1 2 3 2 1 i say find the mean so firstly we will calculate the total number of digits 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 and we will do the sum of observation sum uh, sum will be 7 plus 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 5 plus 1 7 one 8 2 10 14 14 2 17 by number of terms are 6 okay by this we can find the mean uh, there are uh, diff, uh, ma uh, other method that is uh, that we will discuss in the later that are direct method step deviation method and assumed mean method so there are two method to find the mean first we will discuss about the how to find mean of ungrouped data ungrouped data that is not specifically for a uh, for a specific calculation it is considered as ungrouped data how we can find the mean of ungrouped data that stand for mean uh, is denoted at x bar so that is x1 x2 x3 up to xn that is divided by n n stands for number of terms okay so the formula to find the mean of ungrouped data will be mean that is equals to sigma x i by n this is stand for sigma it means add or is uh, this is also called a summation okay yes ma'am this is also called sigma or summation anyone we can consider it so uh, firstly we'll discuss about the mean for the uh, given data 
So there is a data is given. Let's see the example one. In this exercise, we'll discuss about the mean for group data. How to find mean of ungrouped data? So I'll take an example. So firstly, we have to find uh, the question is find the mean of first four multiples of six. Okay, we have the uh, we have to find the mean of first four multiples of six. So firstly, we will write the multiples of six. First four, six. 12 18 and 24 and here number of terms that is stand for n that are for so we will be, yes nothing okay so now we will make it add 6 plus uh, 12 that will be 18 18 18 36 36 and 24? Uh, 61. Its sum will be 60. So now we'll find the mean. The mean stands for summation of xi. This is considered as xi and this is an n. Summation of xi divided by n. So our summation of xi is 60 that, and the number of terms are 4. So it will be 60 by 4. Further, if you want to simplify it, we can do 4 ones are 4. The 2 will be remain. 4 fives are 20. So mean of this uh, given question, uh, that is the uh, first 4 multiples of 6 will be 15. Got it? Got it? Yes, ma'am. So now we will discuss about our first matter for ungrouped frequency distribution. That is mean for ungrouped data. Now methods to find mean for ungrouped frequency distribution. So there are, we will discuss about the many method. First method is direct method, assumed mean and step deviation. So firstly, we'll discuss about the direct method, okay? First method is direct method. Second one is assumed mean. And the third one is step deviation. Ma'am, these all are not there, ma'am, for the syllabus. Is uh, all three methods? Yeah, ma'am, they have been omitted. After this, only directly median is there, ma'am. That's it. Okay. Uh, may this will be reduced this level. So make. Okay. So so now do you understand how to find the mean for ungrouped data by using formula? Yes, ma'am. Okay. After that. Come to the exercise 15A. The weights of seven boys in the groups are 15, 52 kg, 57 kg, 55, 50, 54, 59, and 55. Find the mean weight of the group. So, what is in the given? Uh, so, there's a, a weight of seven boys. So, number that is N that is given seven boys, and the weights are given. 52, 57, after that 55, then 60, 54 again, 59 and 55 kg. Okay. So you have yeah. to find
Please wait one minute. Okay, ma'am. Okay, now uh, we have to find the mean. This is ungrouped data. So, firstly, to find the mean, what we will do? We will make the, we will add these all terms. Okay. Yeah, ma'am. So, we will make the add. That is 52. Make the add of the following digits. Okay, ma'am. Ma'am, I think it's 391, ma'am. 390? 391. No, it will be 392. Okay. Yes, and the number of terms are given 7. So, now we will divide 7. Five here four will seven six the forty two. So our mean will be fifty six. Okay. Yes, and according to the question that is uh, given, the weight the uh, weight of group mean weight. Sorry. Now I'll find the mean weight of a group will be 56 kg. Mean weight to say average weight, okay? Mean is the average. So the average weight of this group uh, will be 56 kg. Yes, got it. Yeah, now come to question number. The marks obtained by seven students in a group are 340, 180, 260. But make it, uh, do it yourself. Yes, ma'am.
Ma'am, it's two twenty six, ma'am. It's two twenty six. Yeah, ma'am. Okay, fine. Now, question number three is find the mean of first six prime number. So, if your if your methods are uh, removed from the syllabus, so the question number from question number nine nine two, question number fourteen onward are based on the formula, on the method. So, how will you solve these questions? No, ma'am. They uh, in the school they have only made us solve the question number five, ma'am. They then they omitted all questions, ma'am. Till so from six to sixteen they omitted, ma'am, ten questions. Only till five they have done basic ones, ma'am. Okay, but question number six to nine, eh, six to eight can be solved without method. But we will then according to our school syllabus. So now question number three. Find the mean of the first six prime numbers. So how will find the mean of first six prime number? So prime number are those number whose div uh, whose factor is only one that are div uh, that are divisible only by itself. So first prime number are is one a prime number or odd number or composite number? Ma'am, it's a universal number. So we can we consider is that a prime number? No, ma'am. We cannot consider composite or prime. It's universal only, ma'am. So first prime number will be two, three. Five, seven. After that, eleven. Okay. Yes, ma'am. First five prime number. So how we have to find the mean? So here n is given. N is what? N is the total number of five. Sorry, six. So, but it will be thirteen also because we have find six number. N is six, and the Mean will be mean is the average so two plus three plus five then seven eleven and thirteen so two three five five ten seventeen seventeen or uh, eleven that will be twenty eight and twenty eight uh, and thirteen forty one forty one forty one be divided by It is uh, sum is forty one and the formula to find the mean x bar that is equals to summation of x i divided by n. So summation of x i is forty one and n is six. It will be six. It will be in decimal. Okay. Yes, ma'am. After that, it will be six point eight or uh, approx six point eight something. Got it? Yeah, ma'am. No question number four. So in the question number four, uh, only mean and uh, mean and median you have to do in this exercise. Only two uh, two methods. Yes, ma'am. And frequency polygon and graph book, ma'am. Okay. Now question number four is what? Your exam is on seventeenth of Feb. I don't know, ma'am. They just gave syllabus. I'll check and tell, ma'am. Okay, tell me later. So in the question of four, find the mean of the first ten odd number. So first ten odd numbers are we will take in. After that, we will add those odd number and we will divide by ten. Will you do it yourself? Because I don't think there is any need to do this question because it's very simple. But should we do this question now, or you can do it in your homework? 
Yes. I can do it, ma'am. These are really simple ones. Yeah, question number five is also simple one. So that after doing, uh, so that we can uh, do our syllabus complete as well as soon as possible. Now in the question number five, find the mean of all the factors of twenty. So the factors of twenty are what? Tell me the factor of twenty. Ma'am, factors as in twenty uh, and then forty uh, like that, ma'am. There are so many factors. Okay, do it all. Uh, do it yourself also. Okay, because it's very simple question. I don't think there need to do these question at this time. After that, we'll discuss about the median. Median for ungrouped data. So what is median? Median is the arranging of the given data. Uh, maybe data will be in ascending order, or the data can be in descending order. Okay, and the value of the middle term will be observation. Will be observated. That is called the median of the data. Median is the what? Middle term. Yes. If I say there is a uh, six, seven, four, three, two, one, nine. If I say find the median of the uh, tell me the median of the given term, so middle term will be here. The total number of digits are three, six, seven. So the middle one that is fourth one will be the median of the given data that is three. So we can say three is the median of the given data. Uh, there are uh, there are two methods to find the median. If the number is odd, yeah. if the number is odd, then we will use the formula. n plus 1 by 2 if the n if the number is even then we can find the median n by 2 simply n by 2 okay yes ma'am so now we'll do uh, we'll uh, understand properly by the help of example so there's a, a total number uh, there are the marks of 13 student out of 50 in an examination are So we'll find the marks of thirteen student. Marks of students out of thirty are given thirty nine, twenty one, twenty three, seventeen, thirty two, forty one, eighteen. Twenty six, thirty, twenty four, twenty seven, thirty six, and nine. So, firstly, we will arrange the marks in ascending order. Okay. So now, in ascending order, little number will be firstly, then larger number will be decreasing. So it will be nine. After that, seventeen. After that, will be eighteen, twenty one, twenty three. Twenty four, twenty six, twenty seven, thirty, thirty two, thirty six, thirty nine, and the last one will be forty one. Forty one is the larger number among uh, these number. So we have to find the median of the marks. So we will find the median. How will find the median? And the um, n plus one by two. So firstly we will n plus one by two. But cha firstly we should know. Firstly we will calculate the number. Here the number is given thirteen. So thirteen is an odd number, and there is a formula for the to find the odd number that is n plus one by two. We can't apply here n by two because the uh, median will be in the decimal form. So we will apply, uh, apply the formula for the odd one that is n plus one by two because n is given here as Thirteen. After that, median will be one by two. Thirteen plus one, it will be. You can say thirteen plus one will be fourteen by two. That is seven. So the median will be seventh term. So after that, we will find the seventh term. Seventh term will be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So our seventh term is. Twenty six. 
So the me median of the group uh, given ungrouped data will be twenty six. How we find it? We firstly will uh, will write the uh, digits given digits. After that we uh, we we are uh, we have arranged these number in ascending order. After that uh, we uh, n is given here odd number. So there is a suitably so uh, formula for odd number is given n plus one by two. Uh, we applied here n plus one by two. We got the median as seven. So after that we find the seventh term in the given data among these number. So the seventh term of the uh, given numbers are tw is twenty six. So the median of the uh, given students will be twenty six. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Is the median of discrete series is uh, reduced uh, or should we do it? Which one, ma'am? Median of discrete series. Second topic of the median. No, no, ma'am. Only median formula is there. That all is not there, ma'am. Removed, ma'am. Okay. Now come to the exercise questions. So there are digits are given fifteen. These are the digits that are given. So firstly, to find the median, what we will do, we will make the digits arrange in ascending order. That will be six, nine, six, nine. After that, fifteen. Six nine uh, here. Six after six we will take eight. Six eight nine fifteen. Sixteen then twenty one then eighteen. After that twenty one and the after that twenty two, and the last one will be twenty five. Okay. So now we'll calculate the digits. Three six nine. Three six nine. So n is nine. This is odd number, and to find the median, we will apply the formula for the odd. That is n plus one by two. So nine. N uh, number of digits are given nine plus one by two. That will be ten by two. So the median will be five. Fifth term. Yes, ma'am. So fifth term will be one, two, three, four, five. That is eighteen. Yes, ma'am. So the median of the given data will be eighteen. Okay. Question. Uh, question number one. First and second. Second and third part will be similar of this. Now come to the question number two. The runs scored by eleven members of a cricket teams are. So the runs scored by cricket team. Firstly, we'll write the runs. We'll write the runs according to arranging uh, ascending order. Okay, zero, seven. Then it will be twenty. Uh, then sixteen, eighteen, twenty-six. Okay, so firstly, what is given in the question? Uh, there are total members of uh, cricket team are eleven, and the runs scored by eleven members are given here. So I have arranged uh, the given scored in ascending order as the formula. We have to arrange firstly in the ascending order. After that, the n is given eleven. So eleven is also odd number. To find the me median, what we do here? We will apply n plus one by two formula. That will be twelve by two. It will be six term. Okay. Are you understanding? Yes, ma'am. 
So we'll find the calculate the sixth term. One, two, three, four, five, six. So the sixth term will be thirty five, and the median of the given squad will uh, is thirty five. Got it? Yes, ma'am. Now solve the question number three. Okay, ma'am. I'll solve. Ma'am, I got one forty-seven point three is the median. Uh, send me the solution. Send me yes. the solution. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, I just roughly did it, so I didn't write it in steps, but I arranged in ascending order and I did it, ma'am, with formula. Okay, no problem. I got it. Yes, Fine, but whenever you do the uh, your test, do the question properly, okay? Yes, ma'am. Okay, bacha, it it will be our last topic for this chapter: frequency, polygon. Yes, ma'am. So frequency polygon is uh, uh, arranged in ascending order, okay? And there is a will find the CF commutative frequency. The data will be given. So the data given the following given. Uh, firstly, I will take an exa example. Let the marks obtained. That is after that number of students.
in this question we will find i uh, will understood how to find the frequency polygon so there is a given data is given marks obtained by the students that are 17 20 22 15 30 and 25 okay and the total number of students are given 37 number of students are also given here and the number of students are 37 okay and now we have to calculate the median of the given one so firstly what we will do here we will arrange the frequency in ascending order okay so that we can calculate the frequency or the median of the given so yes. we will uh, marks obtained i am writing in short that is n marks obtained by the student firstly we will arrange in ascending order that is ascending will be 15 15 how many students 3 after that 17 number of students are 5 Then twenty by nine, twenty-two by four, twenty-five by six, and the last thirty by ten. Okay. Um, so after that, we will make a table here. So we'll write here marks obtained, frequency. This is called frequency. This one is frequency number of students. Lower term will be frequency of uh, any data that is given in any question. Make it frequency if the frequency is not given. And to to find the median, we have to find in the frequency polygon. The main thing is CF. Cumulative, cumulative frequency, cumulative frequency. Okay, that is stand for CF. Now we'll discuss about the CF as we have discussed about the mean, median. Now the last term will be uh, the last topic will be CF. So marks obtained will write from the given fifteen in the array uh, uh, arranged in ascending order seventeen, twenty, twenty two, twenty five, and after that. Thirty, okay, and the frequency is given C three five nine four six ten, and the question is what? What is CF and uh, uh, what uh, we write in the place of CF? Cumulative frequency is that frequency in which we write the sum of frequency. So first fre uh, CF will be three. After that we will add this number. Five plus three that will be eight. After that, eight by add these number. Eight by eight plus nine will be seventeen. Seventeen plus this term. How much? Twenty one. Twenty one will be this. Twenty seven, and twenty seven will be add to ten. That is thirty seven. Got it? Yes, ma'am. Understood. Yes, ma'am. So here, total numbers of students are given seven, thirty-seven. Sorry, and is given thirty-seven, which is odd. So we'll put the formula n plus one by two to find the median. That is thirty-seven plus one divided by two will be thirty-eight. It will be nineteen. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Got it? How the nineteenth? Yes, ma'am. So nineteenth student marks median of this one will be marks obtained by nineteenth student. Nineteenth student is not given here, so it's a there is a there is a no nineteen term here given. So it is given by eighteenth to. Twenty first, okay. Eighteen to twenty one students are getting marks twenty two. Here's a seventeen. After that, eighteen to twenty first students are given the marks. Twenty uh, marks given the marks are twenty two. 
so the median of the 19 student will be 22 so the median marks of the given one will be 22 got it but ma'am we have to draw a frequency polygon among uh, in these questions Uh, yeah, frequency polygon is only this topic. How to find the CF cumulative frequency? After that, we have to apply the formula for the median. In this chapter, the main topics are mean, mod, median, and the methods which are remote, direct, assumed mean, and step deviation. That are only based on the median. That is simply we have done uh, summation of x i by n. Okay, so the frequency mm -hmm. polygon is based on this. Got it? Yes, ma'am. Or is there any uh, chapter sixteen is also given? You send me another PDF. Yes, ma'am. That is frequency polygon. Uh, that one, ma'am. Okay. This is exercise six. Uh, another exercise. So firstly, cal to find the, the after that we have to find the see the question number. Question number six, exercise sixteen B. Solve the question number seven. Okay, ma'am. And send me. Ma'am, and uh, sixteen C. Uh, question number seven is not the ma'am. Only six is there. Okay, solve the question number six. Okay, ma'am. Ma'am, uh, do do I have to construct the frequency polygon in a graph paper? Uh, you can draw. Roughly make it. Okay, ma'am.
I'm not able to do this, ma'am. This one. Okay, but yeah, don't make it. We will make the frequency polygon graph in the another question. Just to solve with me, solve the methods only. How to do? Okay, ma'am. Ma'am, I'm not able to do this, ma'am. Actually, in the school, they have taught in graph method, ma'am. But uh, if we go through coordinate geometry in that uh, x-axis and y-axis, uh, we'll understand, ma'am, in coordinate geometry chapter. Uh, okay, but no problem, but uh, uh, try to solve it, okay? Without yeah. uh, uh, just how I solved in the, uh, how I solved previous question, okay? Yeah, ma'am. Okay. Solved and then sent me, okay? As I'm waiting for your question. Sorry, waiting for a solution. Yes, ma'am. Uh, Moksita, but uh, send me the uh, solution at my WhatsApp, okay? Yes, ma'am. After that, we will over the class or the, I'm uh, leaving the class and send me the solution in the WhatsApp. If there any problem, just ask me, okay? Yes, ma'am. So tomorrow is our class or not? No, ma'am. Tomorrow is Tuesday, ma'am. And Wednesday we have, ma'am, class. Okay, uh, and your homework is all the uh, exercise 16A and 16B, and as soon as possible, send me. Yes, ma'am, I will solve. Okay, but now you can leave. Okay, ma'am, thank you, ma'am. Bye, ma'am. Have a nice day. Okay, fine.